gentlemen, hero scapers and poke pals. Welcome back to a super exciting, super special start of a battle series. It's actually going to start with an announcement. Alex and I will be attending ScapeCon 2022. ScapeCon 2. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with that, it's a HeroScape convention. So shout out to Mike Schober and his team of family and friends. This will be ScapeCon 2. They will be putting this on for the second time. It will be in Indianapolis, and we just can't wait. There's going to be a bunch of amazing HeroScape players there. Alex and I probably won't even stack up, but uh, it's going to be good to see other people uh, that love HeroScape. It's going to be good to see any viewers out there. If you guys are going to ScapeCon, let us know in these comments. And then also, it'll be good to play somebody other than Alex for a change. <laughs> so since we've started playing HeroScape, Alex and I have just been playing each other. I've actually uh, played HeroScape with my wife a couple times, but Alex and I uh, are each other's only opponents. So it'll be really good to see how other HeroScapers play. So along with our big ScapeCon 2 announcement, we wanted to create a battle series that will follow the main event parameters of ScapeCon 1. And so those parameters were 18 figures and 510 points. And what we're going to do is we've built armies. The first battle is going to be with our own armies. And then we're going to swap armies and battle. And if it's tied up one in one, then we will go into a third battle. So definitely two battles. There might be a third battle in this battle series. If there's not, we will have something super special for you that next uh, battle. But yeah, this might be our next two to three battle. So a couple more things that uh, we don't usually do, but we are going to do in this battle to kind of follow some more of the ScapeCon rules is the map. This is an official ScapeCon 1 map. It was used in the map pool. It is called Origin, and it is made by HeroScaper Flash19. Uh, on the HeroScapers uh, website, there will be two glyphs, one right here and one right here, right, right in these two spots. And they will be face up because at ScapeCon, they are played face up as well. So we just want to follow as many of the rules as we can. It's not going to be exactly like they play in ScapeCon, but we will get as close as uh, we can. So with that being said, there are six possible glyphs that will be randomized and two will be chosen. So the possible glyphs out of the six are the glyph of Loden, Wanak, Dagmar, Kelda, Valda, and Ulanova. So to randomize the glyphs, we will roll the six-sided die. So the glyphs in order from one to six will be Kelda, Wanak, Ulanova, Dagmar, Loden, and Valda. Kelda being one, Valda being six. And we get a three, and that is the glyph of Olanova. Okay, so keeping the numbers, uh, if we roll a three, then we will re-roll, but the same numbers, and Alex gets a five. And that is the glyph of Loden. Kind of useless glyph, but maybe helpful. All right, so glyphs chosen, and they are Alanova and Loden. And we will randomize where they're put. And Kablamo. All right, so we have Loden over here, and we have Alanova over here. We have our figures finalized in their start zones, and we want to introduce them a little further so you guys can get a real grasp on our armies. I'll start. I have two squads of the Phantom Knights. I have Konkan, the Kyrie Warrior. I have three squads of the Venok Vipers. I have Venok Warlord. And to round out the team, I have Meburksa, the Morrow Sniper. And keep in mind, the parameters were 18 figures, 510 points. My team fits at exactly those parameters. Alex? Okay, and on my side, I have Guilty McCreech, Krug, Marku Essenwine, I have the Airborne Elite, 
who do not start on the table. I have three squads of the Warriors of Ashra. That they are elite. And I have Raylan the Kyrie Warrior. All right. So now that the introduction's out of the way, before we set up the order markers, I'm going to roll for the Airborne Elite. If I get a 13 or higher, um, I may place all four Airborne Elite figures on the board. I know before Alex rolls, I know it looks a little wonky, but this map was really wide and we wanted to get the dice bowl in here. So it's going to stay here the whole time, but um, Alex is going to be reaching over to roll in it. Yeah, the dice bowl's right here. Uh, sorry if it looks weird or out of place, but this gave us the best view. So, with that being said, Alex, go ahead and roll. With that the, being the said, 20. 13. 14, baby. Oh, wow. Boom, 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 wow. Boom. Bow, 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 bow. A first turn drop it's with the Airborne Elite. They cannot be placed next to or on this or anybody or each other. Alex's place is Airborne Elite. Uh, it's time to place the order markers. All right, order markers placed. It's time for that initial initiative. And I get a two. I get a two. He gets a six. I get a two? Oh, God. Bring on the slaughter. All right, my number one is on the Airborne Elite, of course. They're all gonna shoot at me, so. Okay. Um, starting, starting with this one here, because they have a range of eight. Yep. And an attack of three plus height, so yep. attack of four. That's three on the big so. MBS is rolling three defense. He gets one. He gets one. He takes two. Two damage counters. Okay. Uh. This, this one here, just gonna shoot next on the book, so. Get two. I need to block these two. And I do! MBS! Coming through this one back here. Now a third. A Attack of four. Oh! It's three. Gets a three. A big ones. I have to get all three, and I get all three blanks. <laughs> First, turn. First turn. First order marker. MBS dies, and there's still one more attack. So I got one more four. shot. I'm attacking down on Venom Warlord with the last remaining Airborne Elite. He's gonna shoot down on Venom Warlord with. Oof. He gets three. A defensive three. And whiffs half of his life gone in one nasty attack. All right, that was hard. My number one is on the Benock Vipers. We have a move of nine. All right, so I moved three Venock Vipers, and they have an attack of three. So this one will attack evens. Gets three. They have a defensive two? Yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> Insta kill. Now attacking up. This one has a defensive three. The oon. This one, only defensive three. Height. Gets the one he needs. All right. So the moment I've been hoping for, hopefully I can get a first turn frenzy, like he got a first turn airborne elite drop. Um, Roll the 20 second die. And I get a three. What do you need for that one? 16. Ah, uh, so not close? Not even close. Alrighty. So that means my number two? Yes. So the airborne lead, lead are shooting again. All right, so Alex moves these two airborne elite. Alrighty, I'm gonna shoot uh, down right here, cause I gotta. Uh, four down on that guy right there. Dead three, dead. Oh, that's right. They uh, zero defense. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get rid of that two move. That's 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 terrible. 
like I I want to just pick them off. You know what I mean? Because I because I can, but it's like. Yep, I'm gonna attack uh Venom Warlord with this one right here. Storm four. Gets two. Venom Warlord, Hello Defense, the three. And he whiffs again? The, uh, now this one's gonna shoot him. him. Alright, it's Alex's turn to whiff. Two. And the Warlord is rolling three. Gets one, takes one. Venak Warlord dies first round. All right, my number two. It's the Venak Vipers. All right, I moved three Venoks. And I will attack Evens right here. Gets three. And he's dead? Yes, he is. Attack evens right here. It's one. Hey, one defense of two. That's three. Now rolling up right here. It's one. He has a defense of three. Defense of three. Doesn't get it. Everyone elite dead. <laughs> the frenzy. They killed two heroes in the first turn. Like that's what. So they do. 110 points, and that's 170. Plus. But also, yeah. like, your extra move, the your buffs. range, yeah. and your range. Mm -hmm. Your yeah. range. I know. Now I gotta go hit every person in the face. Yep. <clears throat> Which. All right, I'm rolling for Frenzy, and they don't have any Frenzy enhancement, but I am sitting on load. Doesn't help anything. Go ahead. My number three was on the airborne elite, so we can go ahead. And nice. My number three was on some literally Venox. All right, and they will roll for frenzy and get a seventeen. Oh no! Oh no! All right, so this Venok will roll on this Warrior of Astra. It's one. It's one. That's all that's needed. Rolling well, defense of four for uh, Raylan's aura. It's three. Um, so <laughs> More than needed. Comes in blocking. Uh, all right, so this Venok is going to attack that Warrior of Astra. I forgot about Raylan. One. That's one all I need. need Rolling four. It's the one I need. Alright, so I will attempt a frenzy again. Give it seven. Alright, so the round's over. Time to set up the order markers. Order markers placed. Initiative roll. One. Two. Buddy. My number one. Some of the worries of Astra. I'm gonna roll four down, right here. On this one. Three, this one. You're dead. I'm gonna roll three against this one here. Two, it's dead. I'm gonna roll three against this one here. Two, it's dead. All right, so my number one is on the Venom Vipers. All right, rolling for Frenzy. 12. I need a 16. Alex's turn. Alrighty, my number two is on the Warriors last row. Alright, my number two is on the Venox. And so I will attack down onto this one and attack a four. It's three. That would be a great roll if they didn't only need one defense. Rolling three. Oh, and they whiffs. The one down here? Yep. All right, so now this one will attack even. 
It's three. Ooh, that's huge. Oh, Ooh. that's even bigger. That's even bigger. Now this one rolling up. Gets one. It's Gets one. the one. Rolling four. It's <laughs> all oh, wow. four. Wow. <laughs> what a wow. waste of a. <laughs> like that's. That whole series of rolls. What a waste. All right. Now I'm rolling for frenzy. Let's get that frenzy, boy. A fix. I don't get a frenzy. All righty. My number three. So I'm worried about that. Alex moves his figures right here. I'm going to roll up. So now we're right there. Three. He gets Ooh, one. Give uh -oh. him one defense. Don't give him one defense. Don't give him one defense. Going down right there. Three. Step. Don't give him no defense. All right. My number three is on some V-Mokes. All right. Attacking down on this. Um, or of Asha. Gets the one. Gets the one. Gets the one. Doesn't get the one. the one. All right. Now attacking up on this warrior of Asha. Gets the one. Gets the one. Four. Gets, gets the two. two. Our own Eves. Gets two. Well, three defense. Gets two. Gets two. Now it's time for that good old frenzy roll. Let's get a frenzy. Let's oh. not get a frenzy. All right, that's the end of the round. It's time to set up these order markers. All right, order marker set. Rolling initiative. Eight. Ten. Wow, I got an eight plus one, so that's a nine, and Alex <laughs> got 10. Okay. All righty, my number one is on the Warriors last trip. Roll one. I dare you. <sighs> doesn't even get a leaving engagement. <clears throat> <laughs> Wait, no, I couldn't do that. I actually should have. No, 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 no. Which is what I'm doing. Cool. Well, evens there. Evens with my zero. Ooh. What? What do you need? Oh, evens there. Two. Two four. Three. All right, my number one was on the Vanog Vipers. So you can move. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm gonna roll for frenzy. Get a four. <laughs> All right, no frenzy. <laughs> uh, my number two, some warriors last year. Number right there, hold that unique attack glyph. Unique attack plus one. Ooh, hello. Uh, evens there. Roll three. All right, all the Vimex are dead. One and two is on Con Cam. This is five, it's your turn. One and three is on Waylon, which is number six. All right, my number three is on the Phantom Knights. Time to set up the order markers. Order markers placed, initiative roll, 16. 16. So it's a 17. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I rolled the 19, folks. My number one is on the Warriors of Astra. All right, my number one is on Concan. My number two is on Raylan. All right, my number two is on the Phantom Knights. 
All right, so I'm attacking down with this Phantom Knight. Number four gets two. Rolling three gets two. All right, now rolling four because they get buffed by Concan. So I'm rolling four on this Warrior of Astro. Gets one. Rolling three. Doesn't get it. That's the end of my turn. Your number three. My number three. So Warrior of Astro. I'm gonna roll uh, three up first. With. I'm gonna roll three on even now. And with. That's cool. This. Alright, my number three is the Phantom Knights. Alright, so I'll tech down right here. With three. Rolling three. It's the one she needs. Again, tacking down right here. Gets three again. Rolling three. It's two. That's hard. All right. Order marker's place. Initiative roll. Five. The four. Finally. Finally. We'll attack down. And this is where it's It's two. Rolling three. It's the one. Now down again on this warrior. It's two. Rolling three. It's the one. One of the one. So I'm going to go Rolling three here. It's one. And in defense of four. It's two. Attack it here. It's two. Defense of four. It's one. All right, roll number two. So I'm the Phantom Knights. All right, attacking here even. It's two. Rolling three. It's the one. Evens. Three. Rolling three. It's two. On height. It's two. Rolling four. It's the one. Are you kidding me? Alright, my number two. It's the Warriors of Ashra. I'm gonna stay, stay right here. Roll a three even here. Get two. Dead. Only three even here. It's one. 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 That's it. Rolling an extra one for height here. It's three. Dead. My number two. Yeah. I just, I just <laughs> you know, the... You're number three. We're, you're going three now. Checking four down right there. It's two. Just in random stuff. Plus one, rolling four, it's the one. It's rolling five. Plus two, two. plus two. Uh, Tacking evens right here. Two. Rolling three. The course. It's, it's the one. Uh, it's my number three. My number three is good. Rolling two, lifts, rolling two again, it's one. Defense four, gets one. <laughs> what to do? All right, setting up order markers. Order markers placed, initiative roll. 14. 14. 14. <sighs> Reroll, 12. Reroll, two. All right, my number one is Concan. One, two, three, four. It's gonna go right there. And he has an attack of four. Concan has an attack of four. He's attacking up on that Warrior of Astra and gets a, a three. That's like the 12th three. If I wasn't playing the Warriors of damn Astra. Rolling four for the height. 
It's the one. The one. One. It's the one. One. My number one. One. It's on the words Astro. Speaking of number ones. Well, on Con Can here. It's three. Evens. It's two. One. It's one. Oh, four. It's one. Height here. It's one. I think might take nothing. Successfully defends. One. Evens here. And three. It's all three. On this Phantom Knight. Who's overshadowed by Krug. And he defends a four. And he dies. Alright, my number two is on the Phantom Knights. Alright, so I'm losing my Phantom Knight right there. Attacking down with four, because he's adjacent to Concan. Attacking down with his Phantom Knight. Gets three. Gets three. Rolling three. Finally. Oh. That really hurts. Attacking this one even. And whiffs. That's the first time I've whiffed on an attack roll. Box. He would have blocked it anyway. Box. He blocks my whiff. Alrighty, my number two. So the words of Astro. Attack down on Concan. Four. You get two. Concan has a defensive four. It's one. And Concan uh, has two. Rolling up. Just my three. Gets all three. Got defensive six. Defense of six, plus height and Concan's boost. And whiffs. <laughs> Granted, they are the defense dice, but it really hurts when there's no shields at all. All right. Rolling up now on this one here. Three whiffs. I got the one shield, though. I got the one shield I needed. All right, my number three. <laughs> him and I will move him right here next to Krug and I'll attack Krug with three. I still have a 300 point army. 300 plus point army left. Good one. Swirling five defense. Five. Then he whiffs. <laughs> he takes the one. How many was it? Just one? No, it was just one. Just one. Just one. Just one. Crook takes one and that makes him angrier. <laughs> and he is my number three. Yep, and that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> if this Phantom Knight dies, then that's the game. I still have Concan left, but he has three health. I'm only rolling three on him. He's two. Starts at two plus one, so. Yeah, for wounded smash. Oh, oh. no. Rolls two. All right, uh, oh. I gotta get two shields. Or that first match goes to Alex. And that is the way to do it, folks. That would have defended if it was a darn warrior of Ashra. Wow. So, Alex opens the game and shoots my heroes in the face. First round, both of my my range and my buff hero, which were gonna be my mid game die, they would they would they didn't get to do anything except for he got he buffed him. the the few the couple times that they moved nine yeah that was huge yeah that was so disappointing um, very very poor showing but it was really the airborne elite's fault yeah. Yeah. We're going to ScapeCon. Come back next week. We're going to reverse the teams. Which I'm you know, a little worried about. Would I just go three and three? At Scape. Like, is like, this army I'm too not going to beat you with this army yeah, next week. Like, is, this a, is this army just too strong? But I don't think so. I think you have to rely on the Airborne. 
Grib could die easily to any ranged. The Warriors could die to a ranged. It does just depend on who you're playing. How Let me get this in trip. That's fine. Gotcha. All right, guys. That was the slaughter. Um, we'll see what happens next week. I will be using Alex's army. He'll be using mine. This battle was ridiculous. The Airborne Elite destroyed my heroes at the beginning. The Warriors of Ashra did what they were supposed to do, put up that one shield defense, couldn't bust through it. Well, like always, my friends, what we do in life echoes in eternity.